if you're like me, you've got a new trailer and it didn't come with a jack stand. So a real popular choice is the Reese bolt-on swivel trailer jack. Now the advantage of a jack here is so that you can wheel around the trailer when it's not on your vehicle. Also gives you a nice way to stand it up so that you don't have, say, your tongue lock dragging on the floor. So I'm gonna unbox this thing and show you how we do it. And it comes with a really nice set of instructions, but who needs this when you've got my video? So in the box, you're gonna see the unit right here. Uh, you've got a mounting bracket on it, all the bolts, uh, two, two plates to catch the backside, the wheel, and a turning handle. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do is put on this handle, which comes with this threaded bolt, put it right through this hole, make sure it's facing the outside, away from that mounting bracket, and screw it on with this lock nut. Next, we can install the tire by threading this bolt through the sleeve inside the wheel, securing it with a lock nut. And now we're gonna wind up bolting it to the tongue. So everyone's tongue is a little bit different. And so what I wanna do is find the way that's gonna work for me, you know, with the appropriate size gaps here. Uh, looks like that's gonna work a little bit better for my situation. You end up putting these bolts through these, through these plates. I want to point out a couple of tricks here. First, you'll notice that I have this on the passenger side instead of the driver's side. That's going to allow you to crank it up and down out of the way of traffic, out of the way of harm. So you want to make sure you do that. Second, if we come over here, I want to point out this little pin right here. So that pin is the locking mechanism right over here for swinging up and down the wheel. If you don't have that pin above the tongue, it's gonna to wind up not latching properly. So you gotta make sure to have that mounted above or below the tongue, depending on your, your application. I also just wanna show you how the bolts go on, just from this side, so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna put on the other side, and then we'll be finished with the install. And now I'm gonna use the trailer jack to get the trailer off those blocks. And now the jack's got the weight. You can slide out the blocks. And now the trailer can roll around. Works real nice. And when you're done with it, all you have to do Jack it back, jack it back down, pull this pin, and it just swings. Trailer jack tucks away nice and easy.